Good morning, everyone. I'm Corey Duke. And I'm Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Several governors from both the Republican and Democratic parties have proposed suspending state gas taxes to help people cope with the rising gas prices. According to AAA, average price here in Oklahoma for a gallon of gas, $3.79. Well, a new bill aims to make women's health care more accessible and affordable. House Bill 3504 would require insurance companies to cover diagnostic mammograms when ordered by a physician. The state representative who wrote this bill says it would help women with early detection and treatment. The state house unanimously passed the bill. It'll now head to the Senate. Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum will welcome federal emergency management agency officials to Tulsa to celebrate the city's promotion. The class one in the National Flood Insurance Program Tulsa is actually one of only two cities nationwide to achieve that. Here's what it means for you. With that designation, national flood insurance program policies issued or renewed in the city limits will be eligible for 45% discount in premium costs starting April 1st. Winter weather is on the way. We're tracking it all for you. Meteorologist Annie Brown in for us with a look at that. Annie? Say it isn't snow. Well, it is. We're tracking that and it will be here later tonight. So it's not going to impact us this morning or the afternoon. What we will be dealing with will be a sharp drop in those temperatures. We're going to keep our feels like in the 30s easily throughout the day. Increasing with those clouds, we're going to stay about 48, getting those 50s. Really going to impact those temperatures from north to south this afternoon because that will be arriving uh, just in time. Winter weather advisory going into effect tonight through tomorrow until 6 p.m. Let's talk about what we're looking at. Snow likely to arrive to our northernmost counties later on this evening and continue through the overnight. Here for Tulsa, this will be impacting us just in time for that morning commute and up until the lunch hour, pushing just off to the south at pink, indicating some wintry mix potential in the forecast. Corey and Justin. All right, Eddie, thank you so much. That's a look at some stories making headlines today. Stick with 2 News Oklahoma for updates.